We cannot play down the plight of the children, or children of former freedom fighters, who were children during that time, and they were brand, they maintained as children of the struggle. Uh, we, we have to appreciate that, and I'm very proud and impressed that most of you are employed. That time I was told off too, don't think we are not employed. I'm waiting for you and someone, somebody told me, former president, yeah, she says she was waiting for you and, and so on, so I'm not here to beg and so on. So that's true. I'm very glad that those of you who are active are fully, properly employed. So it doesn't look like just it is responsible for just making mess. I was very happy to hear that. It's true others are suffering. But we should have a way also, before we talk about affiliation, how we can now address the issue collectively. I knew about getting them training and employment. In the past, some didn't want to get training, they just want to get jobs, because they are only enough and so on. So we must start over again and see whether some can be trained and decongest in all those places where they are staying. It's not good. So that we must all engage in. Also, party has a meeting we have a top four this afternoon. And then we have a political I'll mention, I will report this meeting. Just to mention it, uh, I'm looking for affiliation. Uh, just a question, so that we cannot be misunderstood. President Bohamba is very clear, we're together, to say we treat all Namibian children as one. That's a fact we all know. But some come from Karatura, some maybe come from what, what, so they are, they are all children, but some come from different backgrounds. So you are saying you have different background. You are not saying treat us as exclusive group. But I recognize where we come from. Recognize what we went through, what our parents went through, compared to others. And also, we also recognize people at home also suffered. We are not denying that, but different settings. Exile, no parents, or oh, I know the situation. It's not easy. And then to be at home, even if you are oppressed, you see the parents to cry on. So, so we are making, we are not discriminating. I'm trying to say that. But there are different circumstances, different backgrounds, different histories. But we are not discriminating against those who are inside the country. We equally recognize that. The Veterans Act currently makes provision for people who have participated in the liberation struggle until the attainment of independence in 1990. Government only extends grants to the dependents of the deceased veterans if they were still under their care. NECA believes that the inclusion of the former exiled children in the Act would address some of the socio-economic challenges they are facing. We are still engaging and hoping that we get uh, this, uh, this recognition through our body. As we all know that a mother, a, a child is born out from a mother, you are breastfeeding from the mother, so how you, you, you separate the two is actually, it doesn't make sense. So that is the fight we have been having with our veteran act, which was actually drafted much, much too late that it doesn't accommodate us as children of the liberation struggle because the, the first time when it was drafted, it was in 2008, and unfortunately it only caters for kids that were 18 by that time. And unfortunately some of us, as you know, we were no more 18. As a result, the act has excluded us, only including those that were born inside the country, which have equally the same rights as the other children or the other kids that were also born by the, by the veterans. If registered as veterans, NECA members could be eligible for benefits including the monthly veteran grant, project funding, and a number of other subsidized welfare programs. It is our firm belief that those that sacrifice the highest price of freedom should be recognized with their offspring and we submit and it's our humble appeal to you Comrade president that your support in this regard will be highly appreciated the deputy minister of defense and veteran affairs 
Hilma Nikanor told NBC News that government is yet to consider the request as it was just submitted. Neka recently clashed with Ombudsman John Walters after his investigations and subsequent High Court review challenged the directive by the Cabinet to reserve certain jobs for struggle children. Walters argued that appointing the struggle children without any transparent recruitment process or without positions being advertised does not fit in the criteria of the Affirmative Action Law. The State House meeting tiptoed around discussing the matter, which President Gengob said was due to the legal aspect of it. Blanche Gores' NBC News, State House.